UNESCO head Udre Azuye quoted Bringing people together inspiring soothing and sharing this is the power of art the importance of which has been made obvious during the pandemic good evening we welcome you to the first indo polish virtual exhibition it's our world let's take action physical distancing cannot hamper the continuity of learning and evolving there has been a flood of global discussion and deliberation about the perils and sufferings that the nations underwent due to covid-19 but looking at the brighter side these unprecedented times became the harbinger of solidarity collaboration and teamwork we are delighted to welcome mrs aditi misra director of principal delhi public school gargan india ma'am is a perfect blend of modern thoughts and traditional values a mentor who leads by example we welcome professor yeshvali gora the founders director of eighth palo IB World School 006265 in Krakow, Poland. Professor Valigora is a visionary who believes in constantly aligning new initiatives for young learners <clears throat> to become empowered youth of tomorrow. We are delighted to welcome Mrs. Santana Tadani, Vice Principal DPS Gargan, and Mrs. Sapna Dawan, Dean Students Welfare DPS Gargan. We are pleased to welcome the parents of Indo Polish Exchange, guests, teachers, and students. A leader has the vision and conviction that a dream can be achieved. He inspires in all the power and energy to get it done. Sir believes that education is the means to create intellectually influential and emotionally stable youth leaders. An addictionist who considers foreign collaborations to be instrumental in learning the nuances of different culture and traditions and respecting the appreciating differences which are imperative attributes to become local citizens. May we request Sir to address the audience. Hello to everyone, especially friends from India, from Delhi Public School Gurgaon, headed by the principal um, Aditi Misra. I am happy to see you all. We have been cooperating for many years, thanks to principal um, Aditi Misra, Dean Student Welfare, Mam Satna Dawan, Deputy Dean Student Welfare, Ma'am Mamta Kanti Kumar from Indian side, and my deputy, Mrs. Anna Krzemiska Kaczynska from Polish side. I really appreciate this cooperation very much. The pandemic has interrupted the sixth rhythm of our exchange. We are in its half. Exactly a year ago. We were wonderfully hosted by our Indian friends. We had a splendid time in India. I also remember the touching moment of, of receiving the service before self medal. Thank you very much. It's a pity that due to the pandemic we were unable to host teachers and students from India in Krakow. Fortunately, despite the obstacles and the pandemic, we are continuing our cooperation via the internet thanks to the favor of the Indian and Polish teachers mentioned at the beginning. In addition to regular working contacts, in the spring we participated together in a cultural fest 2020 and now we present a virtual art exhibition 2020 in this difficult time art helps to survive hard times helps to overcome a bad mood express yourself and your emotions sharing them with other people in a word art saves That is why I am grateful for the good idea to the people involved in this preparation of this exhibition among them Mamta Kanti Kumar and Nakrzemiska Kaczynska and Dorota Tomalska. I admire the wonderful works of student artists and sincerely congratulate them on their talent. I am very happy with this virtual meeting. I wish you all health and a quick return to face-to-face -face meetings. Thank you very much for your attention. Your inspiring words. Great leaders harness personal courage, 
capture the hearts and minds of others and empower new leaders to make the world a better place. Our director principal Ms Aditi Misra is a leader who is a forward thinker. She encourages learners to develop cross cultural skills, enhance self confidence and self esteem to place themselves as accomplished individuals. She emphasizes holistic growth with a global perspective. We request you ma'am to kindly share your views and thoughts with us. A very good evening to all those who are here in the in the Zoom meeting. Uh, nothing gives us more pleasure when we meet our friends. I've had this pleasure twice now in the past 24 hours because Anna invited me to be part of another panel discussion wow. just a few hours ago uh, where we discussed the pandemic and its effect on education. And I agree with Mr. Wali Gora when he says that the pandemic really took us by surprise. It was not something we had ever expected. It was not something we had ever experienced and god willing it should not be anything we ever should see in the rest of our lifetime having said that as educators i think our biggest challenge and our biggest achievement i can say is that when we prepare our children for change when we prepare our children for unusual times when we prepare our children to meet all odds and in that sense i think uh, professor wali gora you and i and anna and mamta sapna santwana all the head mistresses who are here shalini ma'am arpana ma'am lavina ma'am and rashmi ma'am we can pat ourselves on our back because our children have done us proud our children have decided that even if we can't meet in the physical space we will be bound virtually we will be together in in our hearts we will be together in our emotions because for me art of any kind whether it is visual art or music dance theater all is about feeling is about being what you are inside and since you cannot control the outer environment you cannot control the pandemic you can control how you will respond to it and what a beautiful response when children decide to take to art to share their happiness their emotions their creativity with each other and with all of us So without further ado I'd like you to please start the art exhibition because the children have worked really hard and we are very excited. Thank you very much for having me here. Yeah. Thank you ma'am for motivating us. Art has the power to unite and connect at all times. The students of both the schools collaborated and cooperated to put up this student curated exhibition. We would like to share the experiences of our journey of collating, arranging and displaying the artworks. We hope this radio presentation will ignite the same emotions we underwent putting the art exhibits together. Ishita Saxena one of the art secretaries of our school these 10 days of collaboration were a learning for all of us as artists and team players the experience of collaborating across boundaries on a virtual platform opened limitless areas of collaboration every day was an eye opener the posters the art exhibits were different interesting and of course beautiful the exhibits displayed by us will be continuous line drawing where a single line can depict an entire story the second form is the doodle portrait for an artist doodling is to escape the entangled thoughts in the mind to find a place to stay forever on a piece of paper hope you all enjoyed the exhibition curated by the indopolis team art simply makes me feel better i think resonates with all of the artists gathered here I am Karolina Kuzmochka. These few days have been fast forward for all of us in our team. Zoom meetings, identifying, collecting and collaborating have been an exhilarating experience for all of us. It has been fulfilling working with the students from DPS Gurgaon. 
We may be 6,000 miles apart, but we are definitely like-minded. The artist from H. Paolo will be displaying two styles of modern art. I hope you like the paintings and the photographs curated by us. Thank you! Art provides an opportunity for kaleidoscopic thinking. Each time we shift the lens of our perceptions, we gain new perspectives and new opportunities for innovation. This virtual exhibition is an extension of the vision of two eminent global leaders working towards a common goal of international friendship based on exchange of ideas and engaging in fruitful conversation. Further cementing this friendship, we, the students of Poland and India, embarked on a journey to understand and enjoy an array of different genres of art. This experience was an eye-opener and revealed vibrant forms of art. Thus celebrating diversity, our two facilitators, Ms. Matumita Nandi and Ms. Dorota Tomarska, gave us hands-on experience to organize and present the exhibition. We could achieve this remarkable feat because of their undeterred faith in our caliber. Without further ado, let the magic unfold. I request Kazvi and Kamayani to take us on a virtual tour. It's our world. Let's take action.
extending thanks is the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder as we draw close to the culmination of the event may i request ms mamta kanti kumar deputy dean student welfare dps gurgaon and ms anna shamiska katriska head international engagement to propose the vote of thanks in principal ma'am professor yasi valigora leadership team of both the schools parents colleagues and students change is inevitable and change is constant our world has changed unbelievably over the past 8 months so let us embrace the unknown and be the game changers of the new normal as schools around the world transition to online learning during the pandemic students parents and us educators all were wondering what would be the means of education in the future we now know that we will be supplementing learning with digitization and also engage the learners in mindful social experiences with classmates and peers thus striking a balance between digital tools and social experiences in the classroom and the real world this virtual exhibition was one such effort our first in the polish virtual exhibition created within global education week 2020 Would not be complete without a word of gratitude towards all who have been responsible in their own distinct ways to make this event a success and really global. Not only Indian and Polish school communities, our faculty staff members, our students, and in the Polish parents are watching us right now, but also the international partners from European and American schools, especially from the United States. Thank you so much for being with us. I would like to express. my gratitude to two visionaries and leaders director principal Delhi Public School Gurgaon Ms Aditi Misra and founder director of Usma Prywatne Akademickie Liceum Ogólnokształcące in Kraków with professor Jerzy Waligura for initiating the Indo-Polish exchange and providing this platform and opportunity to the students both from India and Poland to collaborate to cooperate and curate this wonderful virtual We look forward to many more such fruitful events. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to Ms. Sapna Divan for the zest and zeal she brings to all Indo-Polish collaborative activities. Mom, your thoughts and ideas help us to work towards mindful projects which spark conversation. I'm more than convinced that education is a relation. Thus, without supporting faculty members on both sides, the Indo-Polish journey could not be possible. That is why I would like to say thank you to Indo Polish teachers who were involved in organizing our six rhythms, especially to the coordinators from both sides who took the opportunity to visit the schools but also take responsibility for safe travels, so important nowadays, and also building the bridges between two countries, two schools, and almost 100 families. Thank you so much for that. We were honored to host Ms. Aditi Misra, Ms. Sapna Divan, my beloved friend Mamta Mam, the senior mistress and mathematics teacher Ms. Shafari Bat. So you could experience our culture which so much resembles that of India. This also strengthened the ties resulting in six freedoms and we are really looking forward for many more. I would like to express also my gratitude to Polish teachers involved in the Polish exchange. First of all, to Ms. Deputy Head, Ms. Kazimiera Waligura, to Deputy Head, Tadeusz Borucki, to English Department Coordinator Teacher, Ms. Jolanta Jedzok, to Chemistry Teacher, Mr. Karol Dudek-Ruzycki, to the Geography Teacher, Mr. Radosław Uliszak, to Class Coordinator and Biology Teacher, Ms. Agata Twardowska, to English Teacher, Ms. Joanna Szydełko, to TOK and Economics IBDP teacher Mr. Łukasz Zych for cooperating and helping out. Thank you so much. On behalf of our school, we would like to also express our gratitude to the Indo-Polish host families who have been cooperating with us as I mentioned for the last 6 years. In fact, the first leg of the fifth freedom of the exchange was a visit to India in November 2019. uh by our students and our teachers unfortunately the second leg so the visit of our friends from india to krakow would not happen due to covid-19 disruption but 
we would like to cordially invite you to Krakow. And remember, you have friends and families waiting for you here. A special thanks to Ms. Dorita and Ms. Madhumita Nandi, who have worked alongside the students and helped in curating the art exhibits. We could see how busy they were with the WhatsApp chats, moving fast and furious. A humongous thanks to my colleagues, Ms. Rekha Ajay and Ms. Pooja Parvanda, who silently extend their support at all times. A big shout out to all the artists from Poland, Simon, Zofia, Amelia, Leon, Sonia, Casper, Carolina. Words of gratitude fall short for Miss Anna, who helped us organize the exhibition seamlessly and meticulously. Her enthusiasm and hands-on involvement translated into synergy for all. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you so much to Kanaf, to Nancy, to Dash, to Sloka, to Kashvi, to Ishita, to Kamayani, to Dia, to Kabir, to Arsha, to Araushi, to Pihu, to Aditi, to Yanati, Anahita, and Sloka for your time, for your energy, for sharing, since sharing means caring. And thank you for strengthening the bonds between our school communities. Thank you for all your amazing collaborative and inspirational works. We are proud of our ambassadors of our schools and tomorrow's world. Thank you so much for your attention. Stay healthy and see you in Krakow. Take care.